Hi and welcome back to the Skin Clinic. Here we are today. This is the Preset Channel and we are doing Star Ratings. Yes, they are a big mystery to a lot of people. An even bigger mystery to even more people. And a complete and utter brain to a lot more. But today we're going to try and explain a little bit more in depth about what they are and how they work. If that's something that interests you, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget also, get those notification bells ringing and comments down below. Let's get that channel algorithm going please boys and girls. And hope that this video will help you to help yourselves. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Okay, so here we are with the mighty Liverpool who hopefully in a couple of days time will be overturning the almighty Manchester City and the colossus of the points we need. But the main thing today, we are here for star ratings. Now, let's get one of those complete another mysteries which is bamboozle people for many many seasons this is what this is about now star ratings this ability and potential ability is related to your squad let's get this out there first of all it's got nothing to do with the rest of the Premier League it's got nothing to do with world football because you'd have players that are absolute trash right through your teams. If you was in League Two, you wouldn't have any. You know, you'll have half a star players and stuff. It doesn't work that way. It is all related to your squad, as it says there. Excellent rating for the senior team. This is for the team he's currently in. Excellent rating for the senior team. This is his ratings for the squad. Let's get it. Right. So we see Mo Salah, four and a half star ability player. So what they're saying is within the squad, we've got a few of those that are four and a half star and they've reached that potential. They are up maxed out. But you could do better. Luis Diaz, four star player. Currently three and a half star ability. So he's got a little bit of wiggle room to become better. Now if we come down further to say Curtis Jones, three and a half star potential, two and a half star current ability. So again, he's got loads of wiggle room, plenty of potential. Milner, a three star player. You will normally get tons of three star players. That's the optimum sort of area where you will find your players if they start becoming two and a half star at a certain age Minamino for sake's sake two and a half star player that's not good enough that's as it says a fair rating three star good rating two star decent uh, at best you know that's that's the way you've got to look at it if you've got players Three star, they are your bread and butter for your squad. You need plenty of them. Three and a half star, quality. Four star, absolutely amazing. Four and a half, five star players, absolutely unreal. So if we quickly go across to our under 18s, you'll see lots of greyed out players now what this means is different kettle of fish we've got Cade Gordon here look four and a half star potential player one and a half star rating at the moment so it's just a useful player for the senior team now we go to a grey player three star potential so they could be a decent player a good player for the for the team but currently their rating is only Three and a half star in grey. 
Now the reason for this is because it's rated as a youth team player. Whether he's on a youth team contract or not, that's irrelevant. This is purely down to the fact he is rubbish. He's not he's not even up to a one star. He's not up to one star. He is probably never ever going to make that three star potential. If you have a player who has got any of this grey stuff going on, bin them off. In my eyes, you don't see them ever go much above three stars. I don't know whether we can go to another team that's maybe got some. Probably we haven't got enough information on them, really. Middlesbrough got a good player, though. Potential look. We'll, go, we'll work to that in a minute. If we can go back to K. Gordon. Now, K. Gordon is a prime example. He could, because you'll see the white part. He could be a three and a half star player, or he could be a four and a half star player. That's because he has a potential range in the game. Again, you've probably heard this word potential range mentioned many times before, and this is where it shows up. If we just go to Manchester City, they've got a couple here, look. These have got the potential to be five star players. So these have probably got a rating of if you want to do the numbers, 180, 185, something like that maybe. But also, they could be two and a half star. So their potential range is probably 160 to 190 around that area. So they could become really good, or they could be garbage, to be honest. If we see the lad from Middlesbrough, he was the same. Look at that, look. Loads of potential, Sonny Finch. As we can see, we've got our potential ratings on. We've only got the attribute masker on, so we can just get a real feel for this star rating. So they're saying that he really could be a world class player, five star player in relation to our team. So this is between our team only. He could be the best player at the club. And we've got Mo Salah. <sighs> you know what I mean? This is crazy. But the potential range, that's what the white ones mean. So again, his current ability, because we've got attribute masking on, it's saying he's a one-star player, but he, with the attribute masking, depending on the scout report, he could actually be a two-and-a-half-star player. So if we look at him like that, we can see it. There's a lot of stuff there that's missing. We've got loads of information missing. And we've got lots of information here, which is quite a lot of different. You know, his crossing, first touch, pace and acceleration. You know, if he's 13 acceleration and pace, yeah, all right. If he's 18s and 17s, you've got a player, haven't you? You've got a quick player. Could be really, really potential and absolute, again, world beater. So when you look at your squad, it is, like I said, it's related to your squad. Here we got Curtis Jones again. We come back to Curtis Jones. He could be no better than what he is now. So if we look at him, he might not get any better than that. By the time he turns 24, this could be the Curtis Jones that we end up with. Or with his potential range, he could be a hell of a lot better. That is the key. If we go to Manchester City, you know, this same Cole Palmer, another one that could be a five star potential player. Emmerich Laporte, he's got that little bit of range to go into. Even though he's 27, people do change, people do develop. I know there's a lot of talk again. Up to 21, up to 24, they don't develop on. Players do. Players do increase their things. You do see ratings go up. You certainly see ratings go down. You know, that's, that's the big thing. It's such a big call to say that they're not going to do any better. You know, Sam Axelman, he potentially could be a four and a half star player. He's currently two and a half. 
Are you telling me at 24, Sam Maximan's not going to get any better? I don't think so somehow. I think this lad will still develop. 25, 26, he's still going to get a bit better. That's the things you've got to look at. Now, I hope... I hope this has helped you out because it helped me out big style. When I actually looked into this a lot more and put the in-game editor on and had a little fiddle around and checked check the players and see what their ratings are, it is massive, the difference that you can see. And I really hope that this has helped you out today because, to me... A lot of people fall down saying, oh, well, I've got this player. How come he isn't the best player in the world? My ratings say this. It's got nothing to do with the world ratings. It's all to do with your squad. If your player is a five-star rated player, it's because he's the best player at your club. It's nothing to do with the best player in the world. Lots of people fall down with it, get confused with it. But hopefully, if you have liked it, please do like, subscribe and get notified. We do love you here at the Preset channel. This has been the Skin Clinic, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Goodbye.